podcast, I just was like, what, what, <laughs> what, when? Yeah. So y'all walking around here, got two shoes. I used to do comedy barefoot. Recently, Shannon Sharp had a chance to sit down for two hours with Steve Harvey and they spoke about a lot of different things, one part of which was his relationship history, or should I say, his marriage and divorce history. And that sparked a lot of conversation around the internet, including my particular video that you'll see here. Now, many people had many various opinions about him. Me personally, I referred to him as Windows Vista because he is a sort of a a relic in the way he thinks about marriage to the old days. But it might be possible that it may be more to the picture. If any of you guys are Yankees fans, you might recognize who this is. This is Lefty Gomez. And he has a popular quote, it's better to be lucky than good. Well, is it possible that Steve Harvey is Nostradamus? done came in my life to see what he done did. So why would I be calling Steve Harvey Steve Stradamus a day after I just called him Windows Vista for his outdated views in marriage in light of the marriage laws in current day America? Well, this is a map from Wikipedia and it details country by country how each country deals with divorce. And so you can see for the greater part, well, pretty much all of what the Western Hemisphere and Europe, and then you see light green in China and Australia and a good portion of, of, of West Africa and Central Southern Africa, you see light green or dark green. And the light green areas would be places where a single party, a unilateral divorce with minimum separation period is possible. And I'm guessing the minimum separation period is probably somewhere under a year. And for unilateral divorce with without a minimum period, you can see all the dark green areas. You could wake up on one day and say, I don't want to be married anymore. And you can get the balls rolling that particular day. Now, as can be imagined for places like the Middle East that are a bit more conservative, you can see that you have the gray color which is unilateral divorce for men and the consent of the spouse or a court for women and so it leans the other direction where men have a lot of power or say so or most of the say so in dissolving a marriage and women would need outside help to get that problem acknowledged now if you look at the happy medium that would be the countries in yellow and that would include the country i'm in japan where you need mutual agreement or court approval required otherwise. So court approval required otherwise essentially means if you don't fit one of several criteria, including being able to demonstrate that you are being uh, physically whatever and or that person has left you and is not acting in the manner of a husband for or wife for an extended period of time, probably several months to a year, or two other very well-defined circumstances that prove that one person is not really being uh, mistreated, you would have to get both parties to agree to dissolve the marriage. And so you see that there's very few countries with that in, you see, India, Turkey, Paraguay. So you basically in these countries, you need both parties to say, OK, we don't want to be married anymore. And then you can get the marriage dissolved. And so this shows the wide variety. But what you can see is that in the Western countries in particular, those countries heavily favor one party walking out on a marriage. So why no Stradamus or Steve Stradamus? See, I got a game show. I got a whole bunch of shows. You're going to ask me why. And you're going to ask me where. Shout out to BGS Ibmore. If you're a follower of him, you are apt to become wind of any myriad of things that are happening in current day culture. And he dropped this link today, which is from the Rolling Stone, which is technically a day before this recording. May 2nd, 2023, the next front on GOP's war on women, no fault divorce. Steven Crowder is part of a growing white ring chorus calling for an end to modern divorce laws. Steven Crowder, the white wing podcaster is getting divorced. No, this was not my choice, Crowder told his online audience last week. My then wife decided she didn't want to be married anymore. And in the state of Texas, this is completely permitted. 
Powder's emphasis on the state of Texas makes it sound like a Lone Star State is an outlier, but all 50 states and the District of Columbia have no-fault divorce laws on the books. Laws that allow either party to walk away from marriage or from an unhappy marriage without having to prove the A word, infidelity, or other misconduct in court. I don't understand. You guys got to believe in yourself. You can't just walk around here. <laughs> Republicans across the country are now reconsidering no-fault divorce. There isn't a huge mystery behind the campaign, like the crusades against the A word and contraception, making it more difficult to leave an unhappy marriage is about control. Crowder's home state could be the first to eliminate it if the Texas GOP gets its way. Last year, the Republican Party of Texas added language to its platform calling for an end to no-fault divorce. We urge the legislature to rescind unilateral no-fault divorce laws to support covenant marriage and to pass legislation extending the period of time in which a divorce may occur to six months after the filing of divorce. I don't know why or where your ass start imitating me. <laughs> it's not just Texas. A similar proposal is presently being workshopped by the Republican Party of Louisiana. The Nebraska GOP has affirmed its belief that no-fault divorce should only be accessible to couples without children. At the Republican National Convention in 2006, the last time the party platform was overhauled, delegates considered adding language declaring, children are made to be loved by both natural parents united in marriage. Legal structures such as no-fault divorce, which divides families and empowers the state, should be replaced by a fault-based divorce. So why now? Why would there be a push now for not just no-fault divorce getting rolled back, but also access to child deletion services? Well, if you take a look at the first chart or map that we looked at earlier, you can see the areas that are in light green, dark green, and you compare that with birth rate maps you see uh some, you can see a correlation there the correlation is almost as if the more freedom that there is for getting out of a marriage or dissolving a marriage the lower the birth rates are and you see that in europe the birth rates are really low very low and in america australia china brazil very low birth rates and then of course you see africa where have all of the, uh, the birth rates are above the average. And so you can see that there is possibly a correlation there. And maybe that is what's triggering this push in the other direction. One thing we have to give Steve Harvey credit for is that he believes in love and he believes in marriage. Now, at the time, keeping a family together is very impractical and it's extremely difficult. And the likelihood of getting married and staying married now is lower than ever in not just America, but in many Western countries, including the one I'm in, because people have more options, they have more access to social media and things that tempt them to look outside the marriage. But this kind of advice actually has a place. There are some things about marriage that no one tells you. You need to understand that I just, now that's a beautiful thing. When you were to write one, Oh my goodness, it's, it's, it's what you want. You get the wrong one? Oh Lord. This advice might seem foreign to a lot of people, especially younger people, because they just can't really see themselves being in a situation where this is gonna be them. But as I get older, and it's something that I appreciate being able to listen to elders like my pop, my father, my mentor here, people like B.J. Zidmore and various people around the internet, even Steve Harvey, people that are older than me, they have had experiences that taught them lessons. Now, do those lessons always 100% apply to in all situations? No. But if you look deeper, instead of name calling or having emotional response to the kind of information they're giving and look through the information to see what they're really teaching, what Steve Harvey's really teaching is even in a country like America where staying married is extremely difficult. 
If you want your marriage to work, you really have to believe in it. And if you go into a marriage with a nihilistic way of looking at it and it's going to fail and you're not going to believe in love, it's not going to work. Now, do I think that's right or wrong? I think that depends on the application. But from his point of view, he's saying, if you don't believe that, it's not going to work. That said, for many people avoiding marriage in today's climate, it's understandable. But for him who took that leap of faith, if those laws push back in the other direction and no fault divorce fades away, he might be sitting pretty. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than to be good, huh? I'm not saying he's no Shadamas, but he may have pulled a Neo. So that said, best of luck to him. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.